welcome back for this update. Over the last couple of weeks I've ordered uh, a couple different styles of fencing. Uh, Osborne, RS Laser, uh, Monroe. And I thought I'd, I'd kind of go over each one and kind of show you what uh, uh, is in the package and, and what you get. And uh, maybe try to get one of them installed. So let's get going on this project. I thought I'd take a couple minutes and uh, talk a little bit about fencing had a chance to put together a couple different types from uh, different companies. Uh, this one here, they're all very, very nice laser cut. Just great, they all go to um, Monroe Models is the one that makes uh, this kind of the junkyard uh, uh, fencing and um, little pieces missing out of it. Very nicely done. Uh, with this one and I can't tell you how many I've, I've got a package here and I cannot find the package to tell you how much comes in uh, that but another one is uh, Blair Mills and uh, they make an insta fence very nice uh, picket uh, it's a right at 200 feet of fencing that you get scale and very easy to put together I wish I would have done things a little bit different on this one here they have you lay these strips in here um, which I still need to stain I would like to have uh, picked out probably about six or eight feet of spacing and uh, laid my supports down this way and then use my chopper and would chop these to lay them down inside. Uh, I may go through and uh, try to remove enough to get these down in there to uh, to lay these across the bottom. I just thought it would look a little neater um, doing it this way. But um, once again, went together very easy in about 200 uh, feet. Uh, Mills also gives you uh, some signage that if you want to take and put some. Uh, some signage on there, cut these out, transfer them over to your uh, fence. And of course, uh, all, all the different ways of staining um, a little wider, a little sandpaper on them to make, to make them lighter in spots, and you can darken them up. Or you can even remove a, 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 a half a picket or part of a picket there to uh, give a little more realism. The uh, the other one I wanted to talk about was the uh, RS Laser Kit. This is their good neighbor fencing. And this is more for a residential area. Uh, very nicely made. Uh, it comes with a, uh, a framework that's in the center there. And then you lay the picket fencing or the planking uh, to go on the side. And uh, after you glue one, when you do the other side and lay the planking on, you shift it over a little bit, and that gives it uh, uh, a see-through effect. If you kind of look through the side here, if you look straight on, it's uh, it's kind of it's more dense and uh, looks very nice, uh, but more residential uh, area. Uh, in this, uh, you get uh, four pieces. Each one is right around 25 feet. So you get about a hundred feet of, uh, of fencing. Show you one last uh, fencing kit from RS Laser. This is their privacy fence. You get four sections, 24 foot uh, long. And here's what comes in the package. I've already separated out one of the, the fence post and bracing. And these here. Reading through the instructions, I'm not quite sure how to get these onto here but we'll figure that out uh, and I'll get a short clip in this video for it well after investigating this I uh, pulled one out of the forms out and I uh, was trying to figure out how these pieces attached and looking closely there are a couple little pieces you have to cut make sure you've got a nice fresh exacto blade and I nipped one out of there which is here and that actually does fit perfectly right into here. So this lattice work has to come out and go into here. These have to go fit down inside of 
there. I will see if I can do that very quickly. Please excuse my fingers. So it will fit right down in there like that. So it looks like uh, we have to get the wax paper out and a little bit of uh, Elmer's on the edges and put that together. Um, I was going to uh, darken up the uh, the lattice work and stuff over here. Um, I was working uh, a little bit lighter stain. This is actually uh, dark uh, mahogany and I think I've said that correctly uh, on this one which is what I'm going to do. So I'll rub these all out together with uh, some dark mahogany to uh, set those up and then we'll start putting them in the uh, forms over here. Uh, getting ready to finish up the uh, bar mills uh, fencing and uh, use my chopper and cut the fence posts and I was kind of looking at uh, what that would look like that glued on there I thought you know if they were recessed I think it'd look a lot nicer so I marked it off every eight feet used a very sharp uh, exacto blade went down and uh, cut either side and then just kind of chiseled it a bit the piece slipped right out of there uh, and now take that spot of glue put that down into there and these over here I got done which I think it looks uh, looks a lot better that way so we'll finish this one up and my goal for today is to uh, take some of the good neighbor fencing and uh, attach it. It's about 70 feet. I'm actually going to try to uh, attach all the fencing together and then install it right here and to uh, separate the house from the uh, kids playing baseball. To uh, join these together uh, with the uh, good neighbor fence uh, you've got slats uh, on the top and on the bottom and then the uh, a little framework piece uh, runs in between the two and, and you've you've offset these uh, when you put this originally together keep them all going uh, the same direction uh, this way when you want to join them together here I just took off uh, one of the uh, framework pieces and over here I'll remove one slat and this should be able to slide right up onto here. We'll put a little CA glue down here and press those together and uh, that will join them. Okay, I've got the uh, three pieces put together. It gives me about 70 feet of uh, scale fencing. I used a straight edge up here to kind of hold everything in line and uh, now I'll lay that out on the uh, layout. We'll uh, mark where the uh, little posts go in and we'll see if that can get that set on the layout. I set the fence up uh, where I wanted to install it. I used some T-pins here to uh, just kind of hold it in place so it won't move. <clears throat> and I'm going to use uh, another one and just go down and punch the holes then where these legs will go in. We'll stand it up and glue it in place. Here we've got uh, a little glue in the holes there. Uh, push that in. I'm going to put a couple little side supports on it to uh, hold it up straight. And I think we've got this project uh, completed. Add a couple trees in there now. And, I think we... and here's a look at the uh, privacy fence all installed. And then I also wanted to uh, show you uh, kind of the white slatted fence. Uh, put up around the transfer station into this area here so that's where we're at okay we're gonna wrap this one up hopefully uh, some of these things uh, will uh, will help you out 
Um, I've also received, uh, the same time I got these kits, uh, uh, some crates and some lumber loads and stuff like that. So uh, we'll kind of go over that in the, next, uh, in the next review. You have a great day. Hope you'll come back. We'll see you then.